Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Sweet Baby Ink is the death kiss when it comes to video games. Not just Sweet Baby Ink of course, there are others, they're all sort of video game narrative consultants. They are all DEI, ESG, nonsense, woke garbage. We didn't need any more reasons to say that they are the death kiss, all of them. But we've got one, and it's looking like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is slowly winding down already. Mere months after its release. It's been about a month, month and a half, two months. Uh, it's going to wind down. In fact, they will be removing one of the integral elements of the game. But it's obviously costly for them. Uh, and that's live service. So it's looking like they're going to wind down and remove live service. And along with that... Well, the game's dead. It's done. This is probably the quickest death of a video game, I think, in history. Maybe, anyway... We'll take a look. This is all a rumour at this point in time, but I can believe it when you're looking at the numbers. There's about 200 or so players uh, concurrently on Steam here and there. It's sub 1,000 players at a certain point. And it only ever peaked at 13,500, and then it just went off a crater. So this game is dead. Warner Brothers had admitted it's dead. But take this with a pinch of salt as a rumour at this point in time. Hit subscribe if you're newer, guys. Turn the bell notifications on. And uh, let's dive into it, shall we? God, I can't get over this image as well. My God. They thought this Joker was going to be good. Ridiculous. So anyway, a new rumour. Uh, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. A rumour reveals that the upcoming DLC characters suggest live service support coming to an end in early 2025. That's probably something which they're contracted to do. I think if they could... They would end it sooner. So a new loop, uh, a new loop, a new leak of supposed information regarding the future of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League has not only revealed the alleged identities of the widely panned title's upcoming roster of DLC characters, but also evidence that suggests its live service support may be coming to an end after barely a year of operation. Wow. Is this the quickest death? I don't know. Uh, the article is warning you that there's some spoilers. No one gives a shit. So the latest information surrounding Rocksteady Games' latest title was first raised to the public courtesy of noted scooper Miller Ross, whose track record includes uh, accurately sco scooping that Nolan North would voice Superman and Jason Isaacs would play Brainiac in Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, as well as the secession of development on Marvel's Avengers, ceasing development and the existence of of the Overwatch inspired Marvel Rivals. So good, good track record. But he says this, multiple sources at Rocksteady tell me that Kevin Conroy recorded dialogue for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League post-launch campaign before his passing. That was uh, claimed on April 5th. Sure, interesting. Batman returns to Metropolis in Suicide Squad's upcoming fourth season after being rescued from a medieval-themed Elseworld of supervillain Brainiac's design, joining the Flash at Green Lantern as the Justice League continues to reform following the events of the game's campaign. So they're going to try and bring him back. It's not going to work, though. So, Season 4 of Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League is currently slated to commence in January 2025. The season also brings Deathstroke into the fray as a new playable character who is of two minds about rescuing the man who humiliated him in 2015's Arkham Knight. Uh, and continues further, says this story concludes in the game's fifth season when the reassembled Justice League joins forces with Argus to end Brainiac's multiversal reign of terror. And sources tell me that this will likely serve as the game's finale with the recent season one. Doing little to reignite sales. You know what's funny about this? His tweets have got more views than the current players uh, of the game. In fact, his tweets get more views than any of the, like all of the players combined at any one time. That's hilarious. Very, very funny. So someone replied and says, "Thanks, Miller. Now, if we really, uh, now if we really want to get back to back at Warner Brothers, who are the four characters? Will we ever get them?" are the Locker's four characters. And he says this, The other playable characters I've heard were on the table for Season 6 and beyond are Killer Croc, Katana, 
Poison Ivy, Black Manta, Scream, Scream Queen. Um, what else did he say? A uh, Gorilla Grodd. Interesting. So moving to correct GameSpot's article, so Suicide Squad Cooler Justice League hackers are already playing as next season's characters. Ross then affirmed, no, they're not. The season two character is Mrs. Freeze. Deathstroke is season four. And nobody is playing as him. They can just make his name and a little icon appear. His model isn't even in the public client. So there you go. I mean, there's lots, lots here. Some more spoilers. Well, they're being experimented on by Brainiac. Flash has like a whole Peter Mellark thing when you rescue him where he can slip back into the brainwashing. Which is one reason why Victoria puts him in a cryostasis pod while they fix his brain. Hmm. I mean, this sounds crap. Why did they remove Brainiac's? I swear Brainiac normally had a nose. Where's his nose gone? I mean, this isn't gonna. This isn't gonna, you know, make it better. It's just funny that this is the death nail in the coffin, right? Season one, uh, you know, the Joker thing that absolutely bombed, like genuinely bombed. No one likes it either. And it makes you go back and replay elements as well. Like to make sure you get it. This whole game, what an absolute shit show. Live service games, mate. Warner Brothers. Whoever's watching, no one wants them. Like we don't like live service games. And yet yeah, there are and there can be very rarely exceptions to that. But as a rule, no. It's very rare people will enjoy a live service game. Again, there are, and there have been, some incredible exceptions to that game. But stop trying to make everything a live service. It's about balance. But so spells another disaster in modern gaming. Oh dear. So this, this is... I mean, this would... Like, why even... Why kill Batman to then just bring him back? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And also, I can't, I literally can't go over this bloody Joker. Look at his face. Outrageous. So there you go. This game is dead, obviously. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Killed Rocksteady. There you go. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.